Hello. Uh, we're going to play the Ghost at number one by Jellyfish. It's in the key of E flat or C minor, you could, you could say. So it starts with a C minor chord <coughs> and it starts with a triplet field. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So it's going from C minor to C7. So it's C7. So. goes into the verse. The verse is an F minor chord. Now it's not an F minor here. He's playing a, an inversion of an F minor. So it's on the D string at the fourth fret, on the G string on the, the sorry, on the D string on the sixth fret, I should say, <laughs> sixth fret, and on the G string on the fifth fret, B string on the sixth fret, and on the E string on the fourth fret. So it should sound like that. So. And he's playing an E flat chord, which will be on the fifth fret at the D string, on the third fret of the G string, and on the fourth fret of the B string. And you can also play the third on the E string if you want. You can add that note in, you don't have to, so it will be. And then he's going to an A flat chord, so uh, on the D string, six on the G string 5 and on the B string at the 4th. So all together with the intro. Okay, and then he is going to be playing, uh, you can call it an E flat chord, E flat over B flat, just an inversion. <coughs> Sorry, my mouth's gone dry. <laughs> So that would be at the um, the eighth fret on the D string, eighth fret on the G string, and eighth fret on the B string. So. Okay. Then he's going to a B flat. So eight on the D, seven on the G, and six on the B. So. And then he's playing a C minor but he's not playing the root note, so he's just playing on the 5th fret on the D string, the 5th fret on the G string, and the 4th fret on the B string. So... Then he's going to a B flat over F, so that is the D string on the 3rd on the fret, the G string on the third fret and the D string on the third fret and the B string on the third fret. Sorry, I can't talk today. <laughs> so So you can rewind and have a look. So the chords overall are F minor, E flat, A flat, E flat, B flat, C minor. B flat and then um, F major to G. So that's the verse. So ugly apparition, God's gift to oxygen, the puffed up immortal sun. How they love him as he'll become. Ghost at number one. And then we're going to the chorus. The chorus is A flat. A flat to an E flat in the C position, if you know your cage system. So that would be uh, A flat, we all know, I'm sure. E flat, so sixth fret on the A, uh, fifth fret on the D, uh, third fret on the G, and fourth fret on the B. So, how does it feel to be the only one? So he goes down um, so a couple of inversions. So A flat, E flat. And then he's playing a first inversion of a B flat chord, which would be um, the fifth fret on the A string, the third fret on the D string, a third fret on the G string, and third fret on the B string. So, how does it feel to be the only one? Then he's playing a C minor down to a B flat. So, how does it feel to be the only one? So A flat, E flat, first inversion, you could call it B flat slash D, C minor, B flat, 
How does it feel to me? And then when he's going back in, it's uh, straight back into the verse. F minor, E flat, A flat, E flat, B flat, C minor to a B flat. And then there's a slight variation this time. Uh, he shoots up his poison till the frosting tastes so sweet like a valentine. That part, the valentine part, is where it actually changes. He doesn't go back to a B flat, so it's. Uh, his poison till the frosting tastes so sweet like a valentine. C minor, but rather than go back to a B flat, he goes from C minor to C7. So, uh, so he shoot, shoots up his poison till the frosting tastes so sweet like a valentine. Not singing in tune there, but you get the idea. So he's giving it all he got. The king of rebels hit the jackpot, but his finish line was an artistic flop. F. Again, back into a chorus, A flat, E flat, E flat, the first inversion of a B flat, C minor, B flat. So, how does it feel to be the only one? You got the idea? You can revert, you can rewind and just have a look over it and make sure that it's okay. Um, then it goes into the Mrs. Lynn, the breakdown part. Uh, there's also, if you want to play with the organist playing or the keyboards is playing, he's playing a uh, So he's just doing an arpeggio of, uh, he's ringing out the notes basically of the E flat at the 8th fret, so it's like the verse progression. He's just doing that up an octave, but you can do it there. So that's for the chorus. <coughs> uh, How does it feel to be the only one you know How does it feel to be the only And then the Mrs. Lynn part, he stays on a C major chord. And he does this little lick on the guitar. So that's just dyads, two notes. So you're starting on the G and the E string on the fourth fret. So you're sliding from the fourth into the fifth. So from the fifth to the seventh, the same shape. So it's always on the G and the, the E string. So four, five, seven, and this is where it changes. On the G you're going to the ninth, and on the E you're going to the eight. Okay, and then you're sliding up from the tenth on the G and the tenth on the E, and then up to the twelfth on both the G and the E. But it's a weird, it's a little bit tr tricky, so it's So you're sliding up first on the G and then hitting the E on the top, so. Okay, so the chords for that are C, so we know C, uh, then it's C diminished seventh, so it's gonna be that. So it's C, uh, it's a, I can't speak today, I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> so it's a third fret on the A string, the fourth fret on the D string, the second fret on the G string and the fourth fret on the B. So, so I'm just gonna play it all the way through. Misses then the fruit of your labor gives us a savior. Happy superstar. So that's it. C. C diminished seventh, and then you're playing a G suspended fourth, which would be on the D string on the fifth fret, the, the G string on the fifth fret, the B string on the third fret, and the E string on the third fret. So, and then you're just changing from a G sus four to a G major, so you're just taking it from the fifth fret on the G to the fourth fret on the G string down to an F chord, 
to an F minor and you're staying with the F minor but all you're doing is you're playing an A flat chord so you're keeping the same shape you're just taking your pinky off and you're moving that to the fourth fret on the top E so and then going back to a G suspended fourth to a G so Mrs. Lynn, the fruit of your labor, gives us an F, F minor, to an A flat, G sus, G. Same again. To you we give congratulations, to him adulations. Back into the chorus. That's pretty much it. Uh, then the end is just the um, the banjo part, the wood blocks and stuff like that, the Brian Wilson part, we call it. It's just going from an F, you can play it up here, to an F minor. the banjo part that's what he's playing you kind of tremolo pick it I'm not gonna try that <laughs> so on the D string you can play on the seventh fret twice so from the seventh to the fifth seven five three five six Be able to see that he's going to an A flat. That's pretty much it. Um, yeah, and as I said, the arpeggio part it's just an E flat, B flat, C minor, and then the B flat down here. That's pretty much the whole song. Uh, if you have any questions or whatever, hit me up, let me know. Cheers.